Yo, what's poppin'? Welcome to Thursday's video. Today we're going to be looking at the Hollywood orchestral percussion. So if you like percussion, then definitely be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and click that like button to see more in the future. And without further ado, let's dive into the Hollywood orchestral percussion. The orchestral percussion basic hits one. And we're going to be diving into every single note. No, I'm just kidding. That's going to be a long video. Since all of these different libraries have so many uh, different ones, I'm just going to play you guys some of the first ones out of this. This library is the combo kits. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play the first one. And these black keys that are not colored black are actually muted and they're not available to play. See, so I can tap on them and they're not going to do anything because they're just not programmed to play anything. Um, same thing with these ones, the cream colored keys. And now I'm going to go through some of my favorites and some of the ones I've used a lot in my music and play you guys from the low end all the way to the high end of each key. Here are some of our timpanis. Okay, now we have a bass drum right there. It's more of like a Wagner drum or a war drum. And then over here on the black keys, there are the sharp keys of each of the timpani. That is a timpani roll. And now we're going to go to the middle key here, wherever that's at. Okay, starting on the key of G. So this is where we get into more snare and other high percussion. And yeah, okay, so let's start there. Okay, there's some hi-hats. There's also a second one. This is kind of the same thing, but some of things are different. I'm not sure. I really have not messed with every single key. Because let me tell you, there's a lot in this. And like, there's even loops and stuff. I think in this one, well, no, this one does not have loops. I may be wrong. But no, it doesn't. These are all separate. So these are all single key. Let's see what this one sounds like. This is the, uh, the kit two. Okay, so now we have some more, uh, let me see. Oh, sounds like a tambourine right there. Yep, I can hear a tambourine. Oh, gongs. Shaker, whip percussions, metals. You know all your anvils and stuff now this is the simple library and this top one here it's actually been used in a lot of my pieces so i use this one when i make epic music and if you listen to some of my music you might hear this one used a lot so it's a pretty generic symbol crash symbol um all these are crash symbols by the way okay so there's many different ones um different variations of each of the symbols i'm gonna play through each of them some short, some long. There you go. That's your symbols. You got an old Italian crash. Cool. Oh, I like that. That's giving me some good ideas. I'm working on some music that would actually work perfect with this. So I'm actually going to say that. Um, by the way, that little star, when you go to database and you go to favorites, you check that. This is where you can find all of your favorites. So, because, um, you know, if you're looking for a specific instrument, you're like, which library was that again? Well, then just go to your favorites, I mean, unless your favorites is completely filled up. But then you can just search for the one. But then I sometimes forget the name and then, yeah, I still lose them because there's so much. 10,000 plus. That's crazy. Crescendo. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I see what they're saying. So it does sound like a Sicilian symbol. Awesome. Now moving on to the drums. Those were a lot of the metals. Now here are the drums. Of course, we have timpanis, crescendo, and they're just your generic timpani. So um, I'm gonna leave that for you guys to check out because uh, I'm just gonna play you guys all the ones that are unique. And the first one here is in the drums section, the brass Ludwig snare. Pearl Phil Harmonic Snare. All these sounds so similar, so we're gonna just focus on some of the ones that I've never seen before. Here's an antique field drum. The Marching Drum Ensemble. Here we go. Here's our last one. A little more of a slap sound to them. And yeah, let's move on to the metals. So the first one we have is the brake drum and anvils. Here's one I like to use a lot. In fact, I think I use this one in my Carol of the Bells. Um, if you're watching this in the middle of the summer on the beach for some whatever reason, then uh, happy Christmas in July. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Okay, I'll stop. I know it probably is annoying. Now we're in the wood section, and here are some castanets. Here's a Celestia FX. Here's a sustained version. Here we have a Mahler hammer. There you have the Mahler hammer. We have some slap sticks. Very nice slap sound. Temple blocks. And of course you have the interface here. You can obviously adjust all of your different reverbs and mic positions. So that's gonna cover the entire Hollywood orchestral percussion. And thank you for watching the video and I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what you want to see more about the East West Hollywood orchestral percussion. Now, if you guys want to see a part two to this video, um, where I kind of take a step further and record some percussion, make some drum loops out of them, then let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching and until then, I'll see you guys on Saturday's video. Mm -hmm.